Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, let us see a few more the C programming interview questions. So in these interview questions, in today's session, let us see some differences. Differences. The first one, the difference between function call and function definition so as we know so our execution will start from the main function right so in the main function we have to write the uh, reference of the user defined function so unless you write this reference of user defined function in the main function the main user defined function will not be executed so that reference writing that reference of uh, user defined function is called the function call so this is the reference to user defined function so whenever the control executes this function call automatically the control will move to the user defined function so this is the actual function we have we are writing to implement right so whereas function definition is the actual logic to be executed in user defined function So actually, in order to reduce the complexity, we will write these functions. So we have, we have to write the reference of this particular logic in the calling function, in the parent function. So whenever the control executes this function call, automatically the control will move towards this function definition. So this function definition should be written outside the main function. So, whenever the control calls the function, automatically it will move to the function definition. So, this is the difference between a function call and function definition. So, I hope you understood these two things. And apart from these two, there is one more thing that is called a function declaration. See. function declaration so similar to our variables so the main rule for this using of variables is so before using the variables in the program we have to declare those variables similarly before using the user defined function in the program we have to declare that user defined function and this declaration should be done outside the main function above the main function right and function call that is the reference return to the function definition and the function definition is an actual logic to be implemented this is the main difference between the function call and function definition next second one data type and return type so this is the word we will uh, uh, see in this functions concept return type so as we know that first we have to write the function declaration and then we have to write the reference of that function definition inside the parent function that may be either a main function or some other user defined function and the function definition will be written outside that is where we have to write the logic now whatever it may be every user defined function should be returned to its parent function for example if you write some user defined function call inside the main function whenever the control executes that function call automatically the, the control will move to the function definition 
and once the completion of executing this function definition immediately the control will come back to its main function because here the main function calls the function a user defined function so the main function we call it as a function call I mean inside the main function we call it as a function call and the logic we call it as a function definition right so the written type means what type of data the function is returning to its parent function so this is also a data type right so data type returning from function definition to calling function calling function so here the calling function there are two functions calling function and called function so in which we are writing the reference is called a calling function and which function is called that is called a called function so written type is a data type returning from the function definition to the calling function so here in the calling function we will write the function call so whenever the control executes this function call automatically it will return to the i mean the control will move to the function definition once the completion of executing this function definition it will again come back to its calling function so the data type returning from the function definition to function call is called return type so here data type means the variable which can hold the type of data so the type can be an integer or a float or a character or anything so whatever the data we are storing in the memory space so that type we have to use as a data type so data type and return type so this is used for variables this is used for functions so we have to use this return type in all the three categories that means function declaration function call function definition and the default return type that means if the user is not mentioning any return type the default return type is integer so if the function returns an integer value so the user need not specify this return type in the function definition or a function uh, declaration right so hope you understood this one data type and return type next third one call by value and call by reference so here we are discussing about the function call and the function definition so function call is the reference and function definition is the actual logic so we can pass some inputs from the function call to function definition see for example addition so add a comma b so this we are writing as a function call in the function definition we can write add in x in y open this here we will write the logic so this is written in main function right so in the main function we are writing the logic uh, reference that we call it as a function call and then whenever the control executes this add a comma b automatically the control will move to the function definition so this is the function definition right so here we are passing two parameters so these two we call it as a parameter passing techniques so here the parameters are the inputs given to the function call or function definition the inputs 
So here we are passing two inputs A and B. So here these parameters can be passed in two ways that is called by value and reference. Coming to this value directly the copy of A will be assigned to X and copy of B will be assigned to Y. So this will follow the positional order. So if you write B comma A the B value will be assigned to X and A value will be assigned to Y. So that's why it will follow the positional order. So positional order also important. So in the call by value copy will be implemented that means a copy will be created so a and b a and b values will be created one more time copy right so that means here there are two memory spaces a b and b and in the function definition also we will get a two memory spaces x and y that means two copies are there here coming to this call by value reference instead of copying just we will pass the reference that means address of that variable right so address of the variable that means it will share common memory so here in the function call by reference we will write add ampersand a ampersand b that means we are passing the address right so in the main function we will pass the address and in the function definition we will take the value of we will take the value of that particular variable right so here there will be only one memory which is for a and b so whatever the data, I mean, whatever the modifications we are going to done in the function definition, that will be reflected on both A and B. Here, whatever the manipulations we are doing on X and Y will not reference to the A and B because A and B are separate, X and Y are separate. So separate memory locations. So it will share this separate memory location. So we write here so that we will... share different memory locations share common memory so this is the major difference between call by value and call by reference hope you understood these two things next the last one for today's session Formal parameters and actual parameters, right? Formal parameters and actual parameters. So, in the in just now, I have said that the parameters are the inputs given to the user defined function. So, here we will write these parameters in both the function call as well as function definition. So here these are the parameters which are written in function definition. These are the parameters which are written in function call. So whatever the inputs we are giving in the reference, we call it as a actual parameters. And what are the parameters we are written, or we are writing in the function definition, we call them as a formal parameters. So that may be a, a copy of these actual parameters. Formal parameters are a copy of actual parameters in the call by value. Right? So actual parameters are the parameters which are written in function call formal parameters are the parameters which are written in function definition right so these parameters are also known as arguments right arguments so these are the inputs given to the user defined function 
right? So I hope you understood these uh, four differences, very important differences. If you are having any doubt regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. So if you really understood my sessions, like my videos, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you.